I am a big fan of tur tournament packs. I have never opened up a Speed Duel tournament pack, though, so we're going to fix that. The reason I am going to open up Speed Duel tournament pack 6 is because... I mean, I don't even play Speed Duel. We have a lot of hero cards in this pack, and I, in particular, I want to pull an Evil Hero Dark Gaia... <laughs> Because that card actually, back in the day, if you don't remember, was terrorizing Yu-Gi-Oh! with its effect. And um, if we pull it, we'll talk a little bit about it. Uh, and you know what? I don't even know if it was Paper Yu-Gi-Oh! that it was terrorizing. I just remember this one game in particular where that card was a menace. I think it was like 2008 World Championship, I think. I, I don't know. And now, now that I think about it, it might have been a little bit earlier because it was a Game Boy game and not a DS game. And I feel like 2008, the the DS was terrorizing the market. So, it, it, anyways, I did actually open up one tournament pack, uh, or a Speed Duel tournament pack, off camera. So, I, I guess it is kind of a lie to say that I've never opened up one. But before that, I did not. All right, so we got Catch of the Day. I didn't know there was going to be one of these uh, skill cards, but uh, that's cool. At least it's a normal card, not a, what's it called? A super rare. The Flute of Summoning Dragon, that's a weird one for sure. Okay, well, <laughs> we're starting off hot here. Banisher of the Radiance. Okay, this is an ultra rare. What I don't like about these Speed Duel packs, it, besides having these, um, these uh, not code cards, but what are they called? Skill cards is that the highest rarity here is ultra rare and not ultimate rare, which, you know, it does set it apart. And I believe you, this is the only way you can get ultra rares now. Cause in the, um, I'm trying to think, yeah. Cause the, the speed dual products now, the promos in, in the, in those products are secret rares and you can't even get super rares. Now you used to be able to in, in, um, back in the day when you, when they actually have the packs, but not so much anymore. So I guess it's kind of cool, uh, but still. So we got no more Miss Nice My. That is awesome. I, I mean, the uh, the cool thing about the seal cards is that they go, they're puns, basically, right? Here we go. Elemental Hero Nova Master. This is one of my favorite um, heroes. It's a decent card. Like, it's not that bad. It's a draw one card. If it had a different effect or, like, a secondary effect, I should say... It would have been better, but they, they just didn't do that. The Flute of Summoning Dragon one more time. I'm just going to attack. I Hey, that's that's a good way to... It's a good day if you always attack. Oh, man, this is a little bit damaged. This is another Ultra Rare. It's damaged right there. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, right, right over there. But uh, Goblin Zombie, two Ultra Rares already. I don't know the spreads, guys. I don't know if, uh, how many Ultra Rares we're going to get. I hope we get more than two <laughs> in this. So I, bu I bought a box, and there's 100 packs. There should be about 30. I just grabbed a handful. Should be about 30 packs in here. Um, but, yeah, hopefully the spreads are good. In the OTS world tournament, in the tournament pack, OTS tournament pack world, um, the regular tournament pack, I should say, The there's five, four to six ultra, uh, ultimate rares, so hopefully... You know, it's more than that, but uh, we will see. We got a Dark Summoning Beast. All right. this got, I mean, it looks nice as a super rare. I don't know if it's printed as a super rare before, but uh, yeah. I mean, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. I, I don't I don't know if the um, the Sacred Beasts are doing anything in the uh, Speed Duel world. Again, I don't know anything about Speed Duel. The only thing I know is that it's similar to Duel Links. I've never played Speed Duel, though. But, uh, oh, that looks nice in this ra Look at it, the way it hits it. The, like, the foiling is just on the dragon. Yo, that is nice. But, uh, yeah, I just don't know where Speed Duel is. I mean, to be completely honest. I also know it has its own ban list. Uh, it's separate from the Duel Links ban list, which also makes sense because there's less cards uh, minted in, in the uh, Speed Duel world. King of the Skull Servants. Hey, there we go. Evil Hero, Infernal Prodigy. I mean, that's really why we're opening up this uh, this pack. Not this guy in particular, but the heroes, man. The heroes are... The, I mean, they carry the set for me, at least. But, uh, all right. So, hopefully, again, I mean, 10 Ultra Rares would be nice. Hey, awesome. Magician of Black Chaos. I remember back in the day, 
I mean, be, because it was it wasn't printed that much, that it was a really hard card to like, to find. I think it was only in a premium pack for the longest time, and we only got that premium pack like seven years into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like it wasn't even printed right away, right? We got Nobleman of Extinction, Blaze Man. Look at him punching his way. Hell yeah, this card. Is, has uh, seen a resurgence in hero decks because of the new um, Neo support, essentially. Because you can out it really easy, really easily, and then it searches a poly. And also, um, yeah, that's really why you use it. The secondary effect isn't as good, uh, to be honest. We got Mysterious Guard and Share the Pain. I don't remember this effect, though. Tribute one monster, make your opponent tribute one monster. For no effect. That's actually pretty decent, actually. So it's it, it, it's a, a way of getting your opponent to um, remove a powerful monster that has the effect that uh, it can't be destroyed, right? And in Speedsville, since you only have three columns, it's a little bit better, I, 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 I feel. Um, since your opponent is the one choosing, they're obviously not going to choose their best monster, right? Magician of Black, Chaos again, and Submarine... Roid, hell yeah. I yeah, So this is the card I pulled off camera. I only opened up one pack, and I was like, why is this card a in a Speed Duel tournament pack? Because all, all it does is basically infl inflict 800 damage, right? It, it attacks directly, and it inflicts 800 damage. No more, no less, according to its effect. But in Speed Duel, just like Duelings, you should be starting with 4,000. Again, I've never played Speed Duel, but I'm assuming you also start the game with 4,000 life points, so... I, I think that's why it's a menace in, in the speed duel world. But uh, we got Wabaku, we got Tyrant Dragon, and Galaxy Cyclone. Look at that. Hell yeah. We've been getting different cards, different super rares, even different ultra rares in every pack. That's awesome. Hell yeah. We got Magician of Black Chaos again. Knight Assailant. Hell yeah. There we go. Infernal Prodigy. The first, the first double there. Not the worst double to, to pull as well. It has a decent effect. It's just, um, I don't think it's even that good in the um, in the speed duel world. But maybe it is. Because, I mean, drawing cards when you start the game with, or not, not the game itself, but when the minimum in the game is 20 cards in a deck. I guess it is a little bit better uh, in, in that world. But uh, Hidden Armory. Blaze Man, hell yeah, 420 Blaze it, let's go. Put him right there. Alright. Come on though, Evil Hero, Dark Gaia, that's what we need. Or to honestly, Totem Dragon, I wouldn't mind pulling more of, because he's the best, um, he has the best foil. Unending Nightmare, that's another ultra rare, boys. Hopefully, oh man, so three ultra rares. Again, I don't know the spreads of the ultra rares. Actually, let's take a little peek here at the uh, foiling. Because the foiling is different as well. The secret rares, I know this isn't a secret rare, but the secret rares from the uh, Speed Duel world are so nice. So, I mean, the ultra rares are different enough. Is there something about that glossy finish that the Speed Duels have? The Speed Duel cards that have, I should say, that is pretty, pretty unique. And that's really what makes the secret rares pop. But, uh, hell yeah. All right, Galaxy Cyclone, one more time. But yeah, I, don't, I don't really know the spreads, guys. I hope we can do a lot of ultra rares in, in one box. And we pulled multiples of Dark Gaia, but uh, we'll see. Share the pain. Share the pain. Wait, I thought we pulled another Share the Pain. Yeah, I might have mixed it up in the uh, comments there. Knight of Salem, one more time. Power Bond. And another Totem Dragon. That is such a cool foiling, though. I will take it. Hell yeah. All right. One more Nova Master, though. I mean, we're bound to pull one more, I suppose. King of the Skull Servant. The, the Skull Servant cards are usually pretty decent to hold off on because they they just see, like, weird spikes in the market. Um, yeah, and so, of course, with um, every Speed Duel product... The all of these are playable in the regular format, so it's pretty. It's nice that we have more variety, right? Because I don't know if Blazeman has been printed as a super rare. I think it's only been printed like twice. Dark Calling. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. There we go. 
I don't think Dark Calling has been printed as a super rare either, but that's what I'm talking about, man. Let's go. I gotta move some stuff out of the way, I feel. Let's move uh, the Dark Summoning Beast, because I love Sacred Beast, but that that's not my favorite Summoning Beast. I like the, uh, the level 2 guy. Oh, man, I just ruined that one. Went all over the place here. Magician of Black Chaos, Power Bond, and <laughs> another Prodigy. Hell yeah, that's four Prodigies. I'll take it. I would. I do want more more Blaze Man than anything. I feel or Dark Calling would be nice, uh, as like super rare wise. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. Submarine Roid. Hell yeah. And the, well, the reason why is, I mean, with Blaze Man, since you can play it on the TCG, I would like some more uh, copies of that. And then Dark Calling, same thing. Hey, look at that! Another ultra rare goblin zombie, though. We got a repeat. That's four ultra rares. It's how, oh, dude. This is pretty decent spreads. I mean, we grabbed forty or so, between thirty and forty packs out of the hundred box, a uh, hundred pack box. So, I mean, hopefully, it's it's about it is about ten ultras. Um, hell yeah, the rock spirit. There we go, Blaze Man. That's no, that's number three. We'll take it. We'll take those. Now, I'm actually, you know, excited um, with, with for these super rares, so, which is odd, because usually I'm not. The the OTS tournament pack super rares are not that good, usually. I mean, if you guys watched my previous opening of the tournament pack 24 that I did on the channel, uh, I was actually complaining about the super rares. And now, when I pull an ultra rare, I'm just like, okay, yeah, that's nice, that's nice. Anyway, so here's Blaze Man in, in super rare foiling, which is kind of a nice turn, in my opinion. But uh, Hidden Armory, we got Lord of D, and then Totem Dragon. That, that just looks nice, dude. Hell yeah. All right. Can we do two more ultras in here, though? That would be nice. I'm just going to attack still one of the better names here. Galaxy Cyclone. I mean, this isn't a bad card. It's just, uh, I think it's only really good in speed duels. And even then, don't they have MST now and it's not even hit, from what I remember? Dragon Caller, that, that might be the first one we pulled there. Mysterious Guard and another Prodigy. That might be the, hell yeah, yeah it is. Five copies of Infernal Prodigy. I'll take those, actually. I mean, it's a hero card. I'll take those any day. We got Catch of the Day. A Wabaku. Another Dark Calling. Hell yeah, there we go. That's number deuce. I'll take it. Again, Dark Calling and Blaze Man are what I want to pull the most. Nova Master. I feel like that's, that's going to be the least expensive, higher rarity hero card in this pack. So, maybe less of that. Okay, hey, there we go. That's the uh, another uh, super rare we haven't seen. Widespread Ruin. I'll take that. That used to be a game exclusive for the longest time in the TCG, uh, if I remember correctly. I forgot the name of the game, too. It's, I mean, it's not a bad card, either. All right, another Ultra Rare. DD Double D's Survivor. That is uh, Ultra Rare number five. Let's move these out of the way so I can put the Ultra Rares a little bit uh, more front and center here because, I mean, they're Ultra Rares, right? Hell yeah. That is five. One more. One more, dude. And Darkaya, please. Because, oh man, Darkaya, I need it. It is the most expensive one, too, for some reason. I, I, I'm assuming it is doing stuff in Speed Duel then. But Blaze Man, there we go. Number four. Blaze Man. Okay, so one more Ultra. Darkaya, of course. And then Dark Calling. One more Super Dark Calling is all I need in this opening. We got a Submarine Roid. Uh, the Roid himself. And let me know, too, in the comments, if you guys play Speed Duel, what is what's what deck is actually terrorizing Speed Duel right now? Or decks, I should say. We got another Prodigy. That's number six. Hell yeah. I mean, that's that's what I want to see, man. I think that might be the most uh, pulled super as well. Hidden Armory, no more Miss Nice My. And another widespread ruin. That looks pretty nice, too, in this foiling, though. Because it's only on the explosion, not on the smoke. That's that's nice. I mean, th these cards are pretty nice. Ain't gonna lie. All right, one more ultra. Let's do it. Three packs. Ah, lost win. Pretty decent uh, common there. Share the pain. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. 
I'll I'll take it. All right. Oh man, can we do it? Can we do a Dark Gaia? Uh, submarine Roid. Oh, I don't think we can in this opening, at least, boys. I don't think I'm losing faith. No, no, we need it. Dark Gaia, last pack, last pack magic. Knight Assailant, Wabaku, and a. I mean, it's it's an effect monster, so I can't, it can't be. But is it another ultra rare? Dark Summoning Beast. Oh man, I feel we we got this because we disrespected it and moved it out of the spotlight in the middle of the opening. Oh man, that's karma for you. But anyways, guys, we this is our haul. We got uh, four Blazemans, about six Prodigies, three Totem Dragons, two two Dark Callings. I'd, I'd rather get more Dark Callings than any than um, uh, what's it called? The other super rares, I guess, and Blazeman as well. But I'll take it. Banisher of the Radiance, Ultra Rare. We got Goblin, Zombie, Unending Nightmare, another Goblin Zombie, Zombie. So we did get a repeat, and then a DD Double D's Survivor. Not bad, not bad. Five Ultras. Catch you guys in the next one.